Tonight, Oregon's governor declares an emergency as the blaze they call the 36 pit fire continues to burn out of control. You know, you stand in your house and you go, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you take? In case somebody and we're there as dozens of people are forced to evacuate with the flames nearing their homes at 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Ann State. This fire is growing. It's burned almost 2,500 acres. It is 0% contained, and we've learned this probably won't be fully contained until the middle of next month. This fire is burning near Estacada, just off Highway 224, but you can see the smoke and ash all the way to the Portland metro area, all the way down to Salem. And we have complete coverage of the air quality concerns and the firefight, and we begin with Jennifer Hoff, live in Estacada with the latest for us. Jennifer? Jeff knew tonight there have been quite a few people who have decided to evacuate. 19 of them are staying here at the Baptist Church in Estacada. That number doesn't include the folks who have chosen to simply stay in the lot here in their own RVs or the people who have simply just left town. Maybe they have friends or family uh, here nearby because that fire now threatens about 168 homes. It's got to be less than a mile because it's at the end of the road. At a house off Southeast Fall Creek, John and Aaron packed up their pooches and some 30 other animals to escape the fire that just keeps coming. We want to try and stay as close to our house as possible, so we're staying at some friend's house down the road. Closer to Tamara Pugh's place, where it's a level two evacuation, the longtime homeowner hasn't ever experienced this before. Are you nervous? I am and I'm not. You know, it's, it's like I've done everything I can possibly do. And so what's going to happen is going to happen. She showed us the car she filled with her favorite things and necessary items. The spare blanket. In case she's forced to leave. We found out her neighbors already have. It's all in God's hands for me. I, I just, you know, what's going to be is going to be. And I, it's just stuff. Pew has spent part of her time serving the hundred or more firefighters at the local pizza restaurant she owns. They've been battling the blaze since Saturday that has grown to 2,500 acres. But the Oregon Department of Forestry joined the fight Monday night, upping the number of helicopters and adding five water air tankers. Still, the weather isn't cooperating. All there is is undergrowth. It's dried out down there. The acreage back at Fall Creek at the bottom of the hill has long since been logged, and its remnants are just fuel for the growing fire. And if there's any wind coming from the east to the west, it'll come right up that big hill. We've since uh, learned here tonight that the fire is human caused and it's been under investigation. In the meantime, the uh, U.S. Forestry Service again says it could be mid month before this fire here is fully contained, given the wind and any rain that be, uh, might be ahead in the days to come. The uh, Red Cross here will stay at the church in Estacada until any of these evacuation orders are lifted. And if anyone still wants to get out or is made to get out, they do take registrations all day and all night. Reporting live in Estacada, Jennifer Hoff for Coin 6 News. That's